Let's get rid of the past and start with start up with the new. Oh yeah. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing... I could do better, but I'm doing quite amazing today. Uh, I have some really bad news and I have some good news. I'm going to start off with the bad news. I have died so many times. I've lost all my gear several times, so I have to do with the basic tools again for a while. Uh, I will do some mining in between episodes, but I didn't have much time to do uh, any mining. So yeah, I... Uh, just made myself some flint tools, but uh, I will be uh, right up uh, where I was last episode uh, at the uh, next episode. But I just wanted to do some time craft today. I have prepared myself a bunch. Uh, well, I'm not going to do any time craft today. I just wanted to show you what I've done in the meanwhile. I've researched quite a bunch. I had a grey wood wand, golden cap wand, uh, the fire wand focus I've done last episode. Uh, but I have researched all of this, so that's quite cool because um, uh, with like this wand, uh, this wand can like suck a whole node dry. Uh, you don't want to do that because that one node will die then. So yeah, uh, this node will leave one aspect in it unless I'm shifting. So that's quite cool. So I can never like kill the node. So that's quite cool when you have all those aura, aura nodes. Also, don't mind the glitchiness. I will look into a fix for that later. It's I don't know what's doing that. I, it started when I uh, started playing with uh, Towncraft, but I think it has something to do with Optifine and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, but uh, bear with me for this episode, because this episode we're going to do some questing. Oh yeah, finally, finally, the big thing of this mod pack, the wonderful quest in it. Um, I first want to store away my items. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to store this away in this random chest. I know I have to uh, do that all in the right order, but uh, not today. Um, uh, I think we have most of the stuff for the quests. I've looking been looking through them, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's really exciting what they have uh, done at the Utopia Cube Network uh, with the quests and stuff like that. So uh, let's find a good spot to read our quests. Um, let's see. I think this is an amazing spot. I, I just straight up love this tree. Like, uh, l listen at the sound. Uh, let's turn up the jukeboxes. I just love it. Let's stand here. Yeah. Okay, let's open a quest book. Utopia Cubed, The Age of Adventure 2.0. Welcome. Uh, you can read this. Pause the video and just read it. I've read it multiple times already. <laughs> Okay, I think you're done with reading. If you didn't pause the video, you probably wouldn't be. But uh, anyway, <laughs> click to start. Nifty uh, episode. Uh, nif nifty interface. I'll just straight up love this mod. Uh, neutral, neutral adventure. I love adventuring. Renode. I can't wait for this this to this finish. I I just straight up love it. I don't have a party. I don't want to open a party. We could make an eagle party. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know all this information. Monsters. Uh, fight. I think also fight is like others. Fall damage. I didn't die in fight. Thorns. Yeah, in the beginning. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's start with the quests. First things first. This quest. Open. Two quests. What? I only recognize this thing here. I didn't. I, I know I saw this in the beginning, but I didn't really bother looking at it. Hmm. Well, I can complete this because this is pretty easy. Let's see this. If you complete this quest, you have agreed to starting a new adventure. Wait a minute. I like adventure, so I am going to do that, but I don't know what's up with that quest. Let, let, just let's do it. I, I Do you guys have this in your pack? I don't know. Looks strange. Like, hey, I... Oh, wow. I have exactly 10 obsidian. Oh, well. I don't really care. Okay. Claim reward. I have all the bread. 
Åh oh, ja. Yeah. Klinger vi godt. Hmm. I don't know, maybe something is derping. Find the mark location. Interesting. You have find, you will, <laughs> wow, let's start over. You have to find the secret location to build a nether portal. What? Okay, wrong dimension. To the nether, I think it's in the nether. We get a flint to steal off it. Uh, I'm going to, no, I'm going to leave this bread here because uh, 12 bread is enough for a small adventure. It doesn't seem too far in the nether, so uh, I will uh, see you guys in the nether, so see you guys in a second. Oh yeah. For this video I turned up minimap because I actually want to keep it a little bit of an adventure, so let's see. Uh, I, wa I want to do this the vanilla way, you know guys, you know me. Maybe not, but uh, it seems to be, that's minus, so let's first go this way. I don't know, maybe it's just following the, this is, I don't want to go there yet. I don't really care if I die, uh, because I have a lot of, is it, visited into the nether, okay. Completed. What? Let's turn this off. All random texts. Kind of random. Uh, I don't really. Uh, let's start this away. I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to uh, not lose that. So uh, it's. Let's see. I have to collect obsidian and some. You know, guys, this is really strange. I'm. I don't know what to do with this. I'm uh, just going to try it. Maybe there's something, some uh, trickery uh, with the map. Uh, the same like. Uh, let's drop this. The same uh, like uh, with uh, uh, material energy cubed. Also in that map, is, there's also some uh, special stuff about it. But uh, some pre-generated land and stuff like that. Even though you generate a new land, so uh, well, uh, let's find out. Did I already derped up? No. I don't have to pick to break it. I think I will have to go through here. So, uh... <coughs> Are you ready for a new adventure, guys? Let's go in. Ah, oh, yes. There seems a bit of lag. Oh, what's this room? Iron doors? A button? And Nemson, what's this now. madness? <laughs> now then, how are you? <laughs> hey, you Nemson. got the message then. You got the message. Welcome. I got the message. Welcome, welcome to Utopia Cubed, the age of adventure. Here is the Guild of Adventure, the Adventurers Guild to some. Awesome. This place is looking really nifty. Ah, uh, yeah, I've just been doing a bit more work <laughs> on the front of the uh, Adventurer's Hall. Uh, trying a few more things out to see if I like them. I don't know yet if anything's going to stay as it is. It's part <laughs> of the process. Still trying to blend it in nicely. Uh, how was your journey, anyway? It was kind of warm. Uh, the nether journey was uh, kind of longish, but uh, it was... Uh, well, I don't know. I was you found uh, your way. Yeah, I was ready for a new adventure, so yeah, I decided to go on that quest, so yeah. <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, do you need a bit of a tour to get your bearings? Have you got food? Um, I don't think the pub's got anything to drink right now. Oh, too bad. Uh, it looks like it has, <laughs> but these wine bottles and beer kegs don't actually uh, have any drink in them. I think it's just so, solid what's inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be old wine. Ooh. <laughs> it, it's uh, looking good in here, though. I like the look of this place. I love it. Uh, it's looking very good, the pub of Utopia. Uh, yeah, if you uh, need anything, there's the uh, Bookshee warehouse. Uh, do you know what Bookshee is? 
I uh, actually don't. Bookshe is slang for free. Uh, free bookshe got it on the free. Got it for free bookshe. Oh. That kind of thing. I didn't know so, that. It's basically a dumping ground. If you've got stuff that you don't really want to carry with you when you're going off on an adventure that you don't really need and you could replace in five seconds, then you dump it here and pick stuff from here when you need something like that one block that you're short of that you thought you had. <laughs> and then you come here and you just grab, oh, I wonder if they've got anything at Bookshe. Uh, I love I that actually, idea. So you can just help yourself and make sure you dump stuff when you've got stuff that you don't really want as well, just in case. Your junk may be somebody else's treasure. <laughs> you don't want to know how often I find myself with trash in my inventory. My inventory is at the moment clean because I had to travel like through the nether and don't really felt like losing anything, but yeah. Well, it's, it's good. Um, there's no way back. Did you know that? I kind of guess. I, I guess I didn't really put that in the quest, <laughs> though, did I? Well, I guess I have to start over here, but I don't really mind. Well, there's there's plenty to get you started. So yes, yeah, there's the book she for things, blocks and seeds and things, mm -hmm. uh, and through the little park, a um, lovely park, the lovely bit of nature, the central garden area. We have the merchant's area, which will one day be a thriving marketplace for everybody to have stalls set up. And the bank of a utopia is still in completion, but Ego's having a bit of a hard time right now, so he can't actually do what he needs to do. Um, but there's food and stuff around here. You've got wheat, you've got um, cotton for making beds and things, you've got sugarcane for your paper. Uh, uh, I've actually got my witchery stuff still planted out here as well, <laughs> which I'm just going to quickly harvest while we're talking. It gets um, you all the snowballs. <laughs> all the snowballs. I'm only after the actual little needle things, really. But, uh, well, I've got to get the snowballs as well, it seems. I see. Um, mostly, I say mostly, everything is just help yourself when you need stuff. Ah, pretty cool. And... Uh, if you're going to do something around the citadel, around spawn, then make sure you keep to that sort of same arrangement that you're expecting people to be able to make use of it. So a little bit of the to. same design, as I understand. Oh, yeah, we're trying to keep the same build theme going throughout this uh, citadel style. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of plots available. I, I see. Show you over to this plot. This one is laid out roughly the space it can fill as you can see it's defined mm -hmm. by the roads on all sides a lovely granite road mm -hmm. and then there's this one as well also defined by roads on all sides awesome awesome and we've got a flaxbeard steam area over here which hasn't got anything developed yet but will have tons and tons of overhanging cool buildings <laughs> and things eventually i and already can uh, imagine uh, myself some uh, amazing builds here yeah yeah and the other plot that's still vacant is this sort of corner plot here which kind of goes behind what uh, modi and fitz are building with the tavern kind of goes behind and up back there a bit and so on so it's another fairly big looking build once it's in it looks really small at the moment, but I think if you carve all this stone out, it would be immense, uh, yeah, a big uh, amount you, of space. If you carved it out, it would be massive. Indeed. Uh, if you carved into it, it will just be as big, and you could just put a front <laughs> front on it. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, this is the smeltery over here. Fitz is currently hiding in here. <laughs> hey, Fitz. <laughs> Fitz is... Uh, currently doing some processing of metals this is just free for you to come and uh, process any ores that you may want to process and there's all of the different tinkers um plates and casts and stuff in here as well um there's a few bits and pieces that people have left behind that they're not really bothered about maybe Are these free to use uh yeah kind of yeah oh, okay i mean people dump stuff in these chests yeah, I see. That's down there, Fitz. Down there. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, people dump stuff in these chests that they're not really that bothered about. So uh, people like you, who turn up for the first time, oh, yeah. can get some basic equipment and sort themselves out before they go off and find their own place in the world. And of course, if you're going to use some stuff, well, dump some stuff there for the next person who's coming through, who's an unfortunate soul. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Drop that up there. There we go. Uh, we've also got signposts. This is Ooh, from an RPG mod. Fancy. Uh, How do so you even move? It, they, they don't move. They more point in the direction that you should be traveling. If you right-click on one of them... It should tell you, show you a direct, like um, a beam that points towards where they go. And if you follow that beam all the way through, you'll eventually get to wherever it says it's going to. Oh, I see on the ground. I was looking at the sign and I was like, I don't see mm -hmm. any beam, but oh, wow. These so, are looking amazing. So you could follow the signs to get to other people's places as well. There's only currently two people have set up their bases and set up signposts. Yeah, and they kind of go through buildings and terrain, <laughs> which makes it a little hard to follow. There's yeah. a few like waypoint signs that you can make as well. I think that we can waypoint two different places and make uh, like follow this road, and then it turns off that direction, and then you follow that road, and so on. Um, there's lots of that around. Yeah. Oh, and this over here is the brand new, <laughs> freshly installed. Uh, I think it's like magic and a pocket. Apothecary from Corge. Yeah. The uh, current master of Thorncraft and, mm. well, potentially all magics on the server. He's put a very large amount of time into magic research and he knows lots and lots and lots. <coughs> so he's now built himself a shop at spawn and I think these have, uh, yeah, he's got levitators, arcane levitators in here. I can Worry. finally fly. <laughs> You're flying. And he's got a levitator everywhere as well. It looks pretty good from the inside. He's got lots of work still to do to it, I think. I think he's still got plenty of things he's got to do to it. But this is just the uh, the start he's made, which looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and you press shift to go down, I think, on the elevators. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, that's it. You, you don't so, uh, take fall damage, lucky. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so what's your sort of specialist subject then what's your chosen kind of profession i have no idea yet i've been thinking about uh, blood magic actually i don't know if there are any people who are doing blood magic but uh... well, i got a bit of a start on it but i haven't really done it i will do more to it but i haven't really decided that's my main thing my main thing is uh botania and currently on the server i'm probably further behind with botania than most people <laughs> Uh, but that's my thing. That's my thing. And I'm, I, yeah, the more the merrier. More people being mages and druids and wizards and um, necromancers and blood mages and witches. The more the merrier. Indeed. That's what it's all for. Um, there is going to be a blood magic area actually up here if you're interested in blood magic. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, way up here in the. It's sort of like the Justice Building. Kind of like Ooh. it's a palace and a court and that kind of thing. But at the minute, I've only done the outside. So <laughs> the inside is still part of the original mountain. Not much going on in here. Uh, it... But downstairs, there is the prisons. Ooh. And Kiki has started building the prisons out. Uh, only just started, though. We have actually just started another little project for her. Uh, so this may get left a little bit longer until like the floors put in and the buildings put over it, but she sort of got the start laid out. Um, but one of the ideas we had was for <laughs> having a blood magic well of suffering or something underneath Ooh. the prison that like hurts the people in it. Yeah, and maybe some Ooh. regeneration in their cells as well. So. Not only do they get hurt all the time, but they also get healed up all the time. So it's eternal torment for those that get put into the prison Oh, cells. yeah. Eternal so, pain. <laughs> eternal pain. <laughs> <laughs> do not commit crimes in the Age of Adventure. You won't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so there's going to be, like, hidden blood magic, like, temples and altars and things around in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a bit of a, a mage's area up here. 
that's totally hidden and nobody knows about. Totally secret. I bet you don't know where the secret goes. I have no idea. I bet you could not figure it out if I stood here for one minute while you have a look around. I bet you can't figure it out. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see some Tomcraft books. Oh, what's this? Almost went straight to the first bookshelf <laughs> and found the right book. And then where would you put that book? I don't know. Oh! You found it. How could you do that? I have How no idea. Know? How uh, would you know? Uh, that was I'm so super secret. Yeah, you must be a I, I don't genius. Know. I'm a psychic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the secret entrance into the Mages Guild, uh, and uh, this little area here just set up for doing a bit of Thorncraft research and basic processing and stuff. Um, <laughs> if you want to do a bit of Thorncraft as well, you can always make a little start here and then move on to your own base and set up all the big elaborate stuff this is kind of just the beginnings of things so people have got a place to sleep people have got a place just to do a little bit of study while they're in the uh, in the guild main area the same would mm -hmm. be true for the blood magic i'm thinking now about when you're saying that uh, about making a, a, be a beginning tom uh, block magic area over there uh -huh. because i know for a fact that like beginning with Blood magic and making those rune stones are is totally not fun. It's yep, like horrendous. Yep. Uh, I do actually have a uh, altar up Ooh. above my head here. See it a little um, bit glitching on my side. Uh, uh, well, it's through the through, through the floor. It's a bit glitchy because it's clipping. Oh in the yeah, I see. <laughs> uh, but it's just a tier one altar with oh, one thousand eight hundred of my life essence in it. Oh boy. Uh, I move it somewhere, but that's where I put it when I first did it, and I just left it there so I didn't lose the blood out of it. Yeah. Um, but there's little towers like this you could carve yourself a little <coughs> bit out of. There's some areas like behind that facade as well that you could uh, carve a room out of and use the windows as sort of guidelines to where the floors are and things like that. Are there's, there like uh, plans for like uh, this side of the building, behind the building? Not really, no. I just built the facade of the building and then it's up to other people to be able to just come and take over a little area and build a room out of it um, I see. when they feel like it. When they've got a need for a room, then there's already the facade of the Citadel, which is the main thing, really, is to have the facade of the Citadel all laid out. Like that big dome over there is going to be the temple of all of the magics, and all of the magic gods and things. So there'll be a, a little area there for blood magic, as well as Thorncraft and Batania and witchery and all that. Uh, that's coming along fairly nicely. And also, I'm thinking that that's going to be some sort of like meeting place for people. Once everything's established and we don't have as much space on ground level, we will still have that little meeting area there for everyone to assemble and go on great epic quests together. Uh, like maybe slaying the yeah. dragon or something. Ooh. Those sort of epic quests. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, from the people on my side, I just uh, bumped up the render distance a little bit. I'm sorry if it's lagging a bit more, but it's just too epic to have that much fog in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, blocks and chiseled textures and carpenter's blocks <laughs> and little detail work and things gone into it. So it can reduce your frames a fair bit when you're looking around. Yeah, uh, but look around slowly. It's, it's yeah. amazing. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the guided tour. I I should leave you to just go and uh, find your way in the world. I'll be around here. I'm always on call. I'm around and about whenever. I'm sure we'll have some adventures together in the future. Yeah, I hope so. Definitely. Uh, but for now, wish you the best of luck finding yourself somewhere in this server, this world, to call your own. And I hope you're no stranger to spawn. I hope you find your little place somewhere in spawn, your blood magic room or something, or anything, however you feel like it. Yeah, I uh, have definitely some plans uh, for the... For the for the uh, for spawn actually i have some uh, plans some cool plans and some uh, cool uh, ideas i have to uh, want to do with other people so of course very good very good well i wish your viewers all the best and i wish yourself the best of luck 
I will see you in a future episode. Thank you, Namson. Bye. All right, guys. I think this is it for this episode. As you didn't understand it yet, I'm official a Utopian Cubed member now. Oh uh, yeah, this is a major big step for me and for my channel. Uh, I'm so stoked Nemson messaged me and say, Hey, do you want to play with us on the uh, Utopia Cube server? The mod pack you have played for a long ass time. Well, not a long ass, but the mod pack you have been playing. And of course I said yes, of course, of course. Uh, anyway guys, um, if you are worrying about my progress on my castle, I will be rebuilding it, but bigger, stronger and better. <laughs> on this server, oh yeah. I will be doing collabs. With all kind of cool people uh, on the server and uh, if you don't know them check them please out in the description there's all the information you need to know about the utopia cubed network well not network but about the community uh, also other things I want to talk about actually not really much um, in between this episode and next episode uh, the series names of this episode will be still Utopia Cube, the Age of Adventure, but the next episode will be Utopia... I don't know what the name will be. You will see it. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's... Oh, God. No. Uh, I will be doing some work in between episodes. Uh, and I... I don't know. I, I'm just really stoked about this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit messy today. Um, uh, the tour about uh, the Namson and stuff was really cool. I don't know. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys all for watching and I will hope to see you guys in the next episode of Utopia Cubed, the Age of Adventure 2.0 server play series. Oh my god, yes. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked the episode and a little bit of role playing me and Nemson dead. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.